Hello, hello to all the amazing people, the Neymar here with episode 4 of our Zealot run in here in uh, Tainted Grail Conquest. If you want to watch out for the first episode, check out the link to the playlist in the description or the comments below. There's gonna be the link to the first video and also the whole playlist of me playing this game. Anyhow, welcome, welcome. If you want to watch this episode, you're up to date, you're ready for some more. Uh, we are trying like really, really hard to get the last upgrade going. We need to like offer 31 more HP with this card to turn it into a deadly lust. Uh, we can, in theory, do it in three fights if we push our HP to 110. And I'm toying with this idea. So, okay, let's talk to the cursed healer here. Godless, Godless healing. healing. Godless healing. Open the shop. Ooh, healing mixture. It's a little bit expensive though. Stack father's charm. Maybe the stack father will help, or maybe you'll just die. <laughs> Roll the dice and see what it happens. Uh, Reduce enemies damage by 50%. These are some good stuff. I mean, it's gonna stay here, so I don't have to like do it right now. We did a stack father fight in the hunting grounds. We got one more. I feel like. Hmm, I feel like we do the boss, then we do this fight, then we go and do the, uh, the cursed treasures. Only question is how exactly do we get our HP to full here? So the last does the maximum amount. If we can get to 110, we can get 11. And then let's say 11 more, that's gonna be 22. And then we need only 10. So in three fights, you will be able to trigger it. It will be really good if we trigger it on the rats so we can heal there. That's what I'm thinking right now. Okay. Uh, I think let's do the boss fight. <laughs> we can get nine here. Nine is a little bit too low right now. Yeah, we need more. We can go to the other side, get the health fountain. Um, yeah, that's one way. Or we can just be like, we don't need it quite yet. Mm, decisions, decisions. I think, I think, milestone. Okay, let's do it like this. Let's do the... Ah, no, no, no. Let's go grab the health from the healing fountain. Yeah, I want to trigger it in the next three fights. So we have it for the really hard fight here. Oh, you know what, actually? We can walk around in the abyss. Okay, there's the florist. We did everything florist-wise. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so here's the treasure guardians. We definitely don't want to mess with those just yet. Deep there we go. In the weirdness, you cross paths with an elderly knight who's clearly <laughs> trying to scare you away with an angry expression. So we can fight this thing. He doesn't look all that scary, although his armor was definitely crafted by a competent blacksmith. <laughs> Thou shalt not cross this path, fellow warrior. What? I said. The armored knight speaks with hesitation. What did I want you to? Oh, yes. Thou shalt not cross this path. Nobody gets past without my permission. You shall not pass. Or, you know, maybe if he can chop his limbs off, but he will probably claim it's just a scratch. It doesn't look like a death knight, though. How can I get your permission? The knight looks confused. Nobody ever asked me that before. For a moment, he's lost in thought. Well, I suppose you could contribute to the greater cause. You could support my ongoing protection of this path. Do that and I will allow you to pass. With the blessing of my gods and under the protection of my mighty arm. His voice falls to a whisper. <laughs> okay, so much about the raspy voice thing, I can't do it. Speaking of my arm, it has been blessed by the gods. The blessings only work when you stand right here with me, though. I'm not entirely allowed to move. But the blessing will follow you. I'm sure it will. Contribute requires 50 wealth. Then I'll just take another path, requires 17 health. No, I want to help him out, dude. Contribute. You give him the coins. He pockets them quickly and disappears. You're left there alone. And you don't feel blessed. 
You don't feel any different at all. They got hoaxed. It was a hoax. Oh no. Okay. I wonder how often this... Okay, this game became really dark. Like, can you see anything? <laughs> I think this is because you raised the difficulty, right? I mean, this is insane. Okay, here's the Fountain of Health. Early explorers of Avalon found many springs with supernatural properties, including ones that could heal. Not many of these miraculous creeks are left these days, since most were drained right to provide water supplies for Arthur's soldiers. Yeah, we're gonna drink. You immediately feel refreshed. However, you feel a strange chill running down your spine like an icy finger. It might not be safe to stay here any longer. Well, jokes on you, I actually want to fight. Uh, we did, I think, like, exactly this fight or something very, very similar. What's my health like? 104, so we can get 10 HP right now. 11, actually. Ooh, nice. Uh, next hit does 75% less damage. If not played, lose 100 armor next round. Ooh, that's nice. That's really nice, actually. Okay. Um... So we'll take like double damage, but we'll have 50 barrier each round. I don't think they can get through that. Well, it's a little bit of a dangerous thing to gamble on, I guess. Um, well, definitely gonna play lost here. Let's see. 78 to 102. Oh, right, this thing. Okay, we need to like, we need to stun this thing. And then kill one of the two. The same port changes depending on the weird candle's burn level. It seems like it's weaker because the burn level is so low. Mm, interesting. I'm gonna do this because now I can one shot. Well, I can one, one shot this one for sure. This one I'm not sure of. Well, let's take the gamble gamble. That was pretty close actually. Oh, we're actually gonna take... Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so 50 HP, yeah, they can't touch me. This is insane. This is insane. That was actually a really good candle, <laughs> turns out. Uh, right. And now, well, now we just have to kill them. We can set up the deck in any way we really want, I guess. Well, still, let's not fool around too much, right? Okay, that didn't really do that much, did it? Okay, this thing has 65 armor. Oh, yeah, because I I stunned it. Right, right, right. That's okay. I could summon the Wolfie boy, but then we run the risk of him getting killed, which I don't particularly like too much. Oh wait, that was only for one turn. Okay. <laughs> That's so sad. <laughs> okay, we're gonna need some armor here. Uh, okay, let's use the ability first. Air shot. Ooh, that's one, one strong arrow. There we go. And well, I can dodge this thing, leave the feints in their better state. Not much else I want to do here. Faints, faints. It seems like they're mostly faints. Do I have the other one? No. I like the faints because it first increases your armor then gives you barrier, so that's pretty good compared to the other thing. Swift move. This one is also in their strongest state. Yeah, we just kill the thing here. There we go. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. This was a really good fight. Cracked Kalk. Okay, and we heal for seven, right? Yeah, it's kind of insane. As the waters heal you again, the spring runs dry. Okay, 13 more HP. Yep, nice. 
full on HP. Now the question is, how do we want to do this? What do we do first here? I wanted to leave the treasure guardians for last. This is a really dangerous fight. Depends what we get, I guess, but... This is the Rat King and four rats. These do a lot of damage. Well... I could do this fight. And then heal up on this one, then heal a little bit on the boss. Yeah, that's also a thing, I guess. Not really what I planned, firstly, but... The more I think about it, the more it seems like it's okay. No, no, no. <laughs> this is definitely the deadliest thing here. I don't want to do it yet. Okay. Let's get our card ready first. Uh, well, actually... Actually, let me see here. Uh, so, this one needs 21 more. On the boss, we can get 11. And then we can get... On the rats, the rest. Oh, that's pretty good. And then if you heal there. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Uh, oh, ancient gravestones. We missed them because it's like pitch black, dude. <laughs> uh, we have meat, right? Yeah, let's do this thing. You didn't notice the shift, but suddenly, instead of walking among human graves, you now walk among rugged, gigantic plates of weird stone. It seems to form a labyrinth of sorts, but you can't see any pattern to it. Okay. This place looks like a cemetery of giants, or perhaps of the four dwellers. Did the four dwellers bury their dead? Whatever this place is, lingering here doesn't seem like a good idea. We shall linger! <laughs> of course we shall linger. Walk around the cemetery. While wandering around... You notice something shiny glinting on the ground. After a moment of hesitation, you pick it up. Is it a rune? You got 340 wealth. That's insane. I guess it's 20%, uh, 200 usually, but on my difficulty we get plus 470%, I think. I don't know, that was kind of crazy though. Okay, I think it's boss time. Oh, this is the night thing. Ugh. Ugh. I mean, it'll probably be fine. I feel like I probably want to put the stronger rune on. The This one, every turn increase everyone's armor by 5. There. Increased damage by 4 is probably good, though. Okay. Do you want to enter with the high? I mean, surely the boss is not as powerful because of so many adds, right? It's probably one of the ones that I'm the most scared about. Hmm. I think I want more candles just in case. There we go. Good. Okay, okay, okay. So yeah, this dude redirects damage from everything else. He has two damage dealers. This enemy is the main damage dealer in the group and there's two of them on this difficulty apparently. For every other living renegade plus 10% damage and then there's the run the salon. This enemy casts powerful buffs to inspire his allies and deals a heavy attack whenever his companions die. So I kind of, I want to stun this thing, deal one hit, if not played next turn gain 100% damage. Okay. Um... Yeah, not sure exactly how I want to go around doing this, but it's not gonna be easy. Charge. I'm not sure if I want to summon the wolf just to have it die. I mean, that's the only one we can actually target, right? Yeah. Okay. 
Okay. There we go. So now I can take all the damage. Still a little bit worried about the whole thing. I mean, I can't target these, right? This one mentality, it's, yeah. Should I take the charges instead? I don't know. I don't know what's the best way to go here. Because these will be getting stronger and stronger. This one's also pretty strong. I'm also getting stronger, so that's at least good. Okay, this is really good. I definitely want to play this. And to get this one's armor down. There we go. Mm. So this is like 27. That's a lot of damage. I mean, I can dodge one of them. Then I can't play much more. I guess it's mostly fine. Uh, I don't want to lose armor. Do the doggy. Let's do the doggy. Help me out, mate. Okay. 10. Okay, okay. You can pet the doggy to help keep him up. Okay, there's the last. Uh, not sure if I want to do it just yet. Okay, I can stun that thing. Kill one of these. Problem is, the boss is going to go a little bit cray-cray after that, but... Okay, this is free also. But I feel like that's the way to go. So if you stun this thing, then I can kill one of these too. Or we go through 300 HP. Yeah, seems a little bit sketchy. Uh, no. Oh, wait. Oh, this thing also has 65 HP. Oh, dude. That's kind of a lot. Why does this thing have so much armor? I guess the boss is buffing them. So we're not really achieving here what I wanted to achieve. Uh, I could have used this, I guess. I still can, but it's a little bit late. Yeah, let's use it. Definitely didn't go the way I wanted it to go. Can't use that, okay. You'll need another stun. Okay. Oh, we have negative armor now. Great. <laughs> oh, the healer's attacking? For like a million as well, dude. That's a lot. Okay. These we can take. Okay, I feel like we need the stun. There we go. Mm. Yeah, these don't do anything. Decrease by 20 until end of combat. Dude. That's insane. Uh... Draw 10 hours. <laughs> I don't think we have 10 hours in our deck. Well. <laughs> yeah, this will not work. Okay. Oh, we now can't use that. Oh, dude. Oh, we're gonna get blasted here. Well, 10, 20 damage, not too bad, but it's gonna get worse before it gets better. Okay. Okay, well, both works more or less. 
Okay, we can do call to arms. Draw all the arrows yet again. This is good. Kind of. Okay. Look at this thing's HP, dude. It's a hard fight, that's for sure. There. Okay, I can stun this thing, then try to kill this one. I can also go for this one, I guess. Get hit for 18, that's soaked up, and then 18 more. Maybe the dog gets a little bit hit. Yeah. Oof. Oh, we can't we can't afford it though. Okay. Oh wait. I can stun one of these two. Go for the protector. Not sure if the boss a heavy attack whenever his companions die. Will he do it right away or the next turn? Okay. Let's try to remove this one first. Okay, we can do this thing. It's free. There. Uh, another corrosive shot. Yeah, sure. Well. We can stun this thing. Kill one of these two with the corrosive shots down now. Um. I think we have a relatively good way. Uh, 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 uh. Let me see how much would this be? 51 to 66. Yeah. We can more or less double that. We might we will maybe need to stun the boss. Killing him ends the fight instantly. Interesting. Maybe I should have went for the boss instead. I'm starting to think that might have been a better idea. Um, but now it is what it is. Still, is it still a good idea? So let's say we stun this one. We... No. Let's take this one down. There. And then we'll see what the boss does. Okay, it seems like he's not doing anything yet. So that's really good. And there. I can stun one of them. Okay. It. Well, that's not that bad. <laughs> Five to six. That's a strong attack. Really? Heavy attack whenever his companions die. Okay. Well, this is a really bad hand, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What's this? Seven times twelve? <laughs> It has to be wrong, right? Fire shot, 16 to 21. 
So if I use this thing. Okay. That's 63 damage, dude. <laughs> what in the world? It's not like I can take it down or anything, yeah? That's insane. I mean, this doesn't do anything, but... I would like to stun this thing, but I can't. Dude, why is this one so powerful? Why is this 7 times 9? Maybe it's the other way around. Maybe this is the boss's attack. I have no idea what's going on right now. I just know that I'm gonna get bonked. I mean, I can increase my armor a little bit. Reduce my damage by 20%. This is 8 more HP here. 38 to 50. Mm. Okay, his attack went up. Okay, that's some kind of weird stuff going on here, but okay. Okay. Yeah, not sure what was up with that attack, but like, okay, we lost a lot of HP, but we'll not be able to trigger the lifesteal thing in the next fight. Oof, that hurts actually. That actually hurts a lot. Okay. All uh, right. Aim shot. I feel like we go for this one, right? There was six arrows. Mm. Um. Do we want to gain armor? Or am I happy with like being on negative? I'll be able to block a little bit if we do it. Or it's just better to go damage here. That's pretty good. Um. At the wolf, there we go. Okay, wolfie boy, let's go. So, fairly inconsequential turn. Boss is not doing anything. Okay, this thing is going crazy again. Look at that. Six times nine to ten. Why is this happening? Like, increases the power of this enemy's ultimate attacks. Okay. Okay. Uh, right. We can do it now. We can wait. Let's wait. Okay. Uh, deal one hit for seventy vine to third to something something. It's fine. Call to arms. Yeah, we can play this. I guess. I'm getting like scared here. Like, how much armor do we have? Okay, there's a stun. Um, yeah, I don't know. I 
I kind of need to strip. Can do this thing. What is he doing? Increase by 30 for one turn, decrease by 15 until end of combat. Okay. So gonna stay positive for a bit longer here. Yeah, the boss fights are starting to get a little bit out of hand, if I might say so. Okay. We buffed the Wolfie boy a little bit, but... Forty to fifty-three. I mean, I can kill it. Maybe even without that thing. No. But that's fine. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this thing will take a while. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, he's doing his thing again, dude. That's crazy. What happens if we kill this one as well? <laughs> the healer of the group. I mean, we have to stun it now, so we don't really have much choice here. I can also try to grind down the boss. It seems like boss doesn't do much on its own. Hopefully it stays that way. Okay. Oh! He's preparing a special attack. Well, that sounds dangerous. <laughs> uh, right. Yeah, I don't know. This is like deadly. There we go. 39 to 51. Okay, could have been worse, I guess. Problem is... We can't really block that. Draw four arrows. Yeah. Sorry, dude. I can't let you do that. There we go. <laughs> Okay, let's take the healer down. There we go. Good. And now we can get the armor up again and then we'll be able to block. Okay. Guess we win, but uh, yeah, the, the fight was definitely a little bit wonky. Some weird stuff was happening. Reduce armor for all enemies, draw one card more. I will draw one more card, that's fine. Um, I mean, he's preparing for the attack. Not sure what I want to do here. Yeah, I want to draw one extra card next round. Okay, because I want to get the stun or some way to defend against this thing. Uh, right. So I can do the feints and unbreakables, I guess. Let me see, if I do a feint, that's 20. If I do unbreakable now, yeah, that's not gonna be enough. Let's see what we get here. Desperate, ooh. Oh, doesn't... Okay. I can play this and Unbreakable. There you go. Break that. Okay, let's get the arrow going. Doesn't do much, but that's fine. Too bad for Corrosive. Okay, now we have a one turn to do whatever we like. That's pretty good. And my armor should be going up. Increase by 15 until end of combat. Okay. 
I did put a rune on, right? Which increases my armor. I hope I did. Otherwise, whoops. <laughs> um. Okay. Maybe 41 to 54. I definitely want to play the defenses here. There we go, 75. Okay, corrosive's good. Let's remove them armors. And now he's gonna become a little bit softer. There we go. Good. Okay, good, good, good. What is this? Okay. And we are becoming tougher. Right. I probably want to turn the unbreakables around. Doesn't really matter, we can do it next fight as well. Uh... Oh, too bad. Okay. Whew. 15 to 20, okay. So this is why we took the rune, right? Very easy to stop that now. Uh, I guess we flip this one. Well, first let's see how much armor we get. Enough, okay. Go doggy, go! Kill the big bad dude that's trying to kill you, both you and me. 4 to 5. Let's get the corrosive weaponry going. There we go. Okay, go this thing. Pet the wolfy boy. There we go. Right. right. Um. I mean, probably cold to arms. Not many. <laughs> okay, maybe I should have. Yeah, but then I could wouldn't be able to. Okay, that's fine. What is it? Okay, the this target's armor, nice. Um, I can do the aimed shot. There we go. GG. That was very scary. Four weird candles, nice. So now the problem we have... This feels like an echo of something that happened before. Like that. Okay, let's go for the true boss, I guess. But this will be sketchy. Uh, take the Weirdstone Heart. Uh, okay, we can go for Godless Healing, I guess. Oh, where was it? There. Because, like, if I use my... If I use my card right now, I need 12 more. Well, it's almost there. Five? Okay. Um... Maybe we don't need it. Godless. But you know what? We have cash now. So I'll grab a couple of smoke bombs. There we go. These will keep us alive against the rats. Good. So now the plan is go here. Uh, let me see. No, I need to, like in this fight and then in this one, I need to trigger the thing. And we don't have enough to trigger it yet. We don't have enough HP to trigger it. This is five, yeah. So I need one potion at least here. What was I thinking? Well, I guess... If we heal up a little bit, no, no, no. Let's drink one potion Godless. here. Thank you very much. So how will this work? This will work. I'm gonna drink it. There we go. And now I go do this fight. And then the treasure guardian. Oh, hello there, milestone. Oh, this could also heal me up. Oh, I forgot. Um. Okay. 
but it's like one in three so we're gonna do this fight now we're gonna get eight right and then on the red fight we trigger it and then we can use the card right away and do massive damage but that's gonna be it for this episode already 40 minutes dude that was such a scary boss fight <laughs> I definitely feel like okay we don't need this for the next one so we put it there so I don't forget we want to heal a little bit on this fight as well okay so yeah we do this one then we do the the rats we can also do the armed wonder remove a card from our deck I think I want to do it we're gonna do all of that in the next episode hopefully you enjoyed it I wish you a wonderful day do nice things and let's make the world a better place thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next episode the near sending out bye bye